hi guys and welcome back to the channel uh i'm having breakfast guys it's morning here and i'm so grateful to god for another day i thank god for giving us another day uh so having breakfast then i wake my daughter up and my son is on his way to school and that's how we roll so yeah i thought i jump uh, uh, jump here real quick and just talk about my california trip how it was and everything as i said it was a very quick trip i i was only there for like two days and then came back uh i had people asking me where did you leave your kids let me tell you guys my kids were with a friend you know god blesses you with friends that becomes uh your family so my friend was helping me watch my kids and darren bye who can hug where's my kids just a minute where's my hug and my keys <laughs> he almost kissed me in the mouth. Darren. No, you did not. You were you came close. Come, like this. Come. You went like this. You went like this. <laughs> I just wanted to see your reaction. Yes, you did. Have a good day. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> I like to tease Darren because I know how shy he can get. That's why I said he almost kissed me. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway. So I went to Cali for for those two days and then my friend was helping me watch my babies. And I thank you guys because I know you care. You know when I see those comments, people asking me, Oh, where did you leave your children? And I'm like, Haro <laughs> I did not come to this world with the children. Huh? You know, God is the one who watches my kids. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Huh? I mean, God watches our children. And I'll tell you why in a minute. I uh, never think that, yes, as parents, it's good to be there. But God is the one who really watches our kids. So I, I'm so grateful to my friend. You know, she told me anytime you want to go on a date or you want to go on a trip, anytime you want to go somewhere, I just come, bring the kids. I will watch them for you. And, you know, that's how people help each other in diaspora. You cannot um, be on your own. You cannot have that private life and expect that you can, you gonna, you're going to manage, especially when you have kids. Even if, you, um, even if you're married, you still have, you, still have um, you know, to help each other with someone. Um, <clears throat> not all the time, but once in a while. A friend or a neighbor comes in handy because both of you, you and your husband, could be busy. So when you, if you, if you are out there and you're coming to, you're moving to diaspora or you're coming to the U.S., just know that um, it's good to have someone that you know, someone in your neighborhood or someone that is close by that you can always call. You know, sometimes you get late. Like for me, sometimes I, you know, I get late picking up my daughter. I remember last. Uh, I don't get late all the time, but once, 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 you know, I panic because I'm like kind of getting too late to pick up my daughter up. And there are times I have called my neighbor, the same friend, asking her to go pick her up, you know, because uh, sometimes you can, I can be driving home and traffic is really bad. And let me tell you, one time I was late and uh, my friend was not answering the phone. And another, I called another friend. I called about three people. They were busy. Uh, I mean, they were not answering the, the calls. They called me back late and I was stuck you know and I ended up picking my daughter late uh, from the daycare and the daycare charged me five dollars a minute I was so mad like how can you charge me five dollars a minute but then I realized you know um, when I you know that lady she was nice so she made she gave me a good deal uh, but I ended up paying uh, five I didn't pay the five dollars a minute but she gave me like 50 percent off from uh oh my phone is dying 50 percent off 
anyway that's not the reason why i'm here uh i like to talk about different things just because i don't have sometimes like today i don't have a specific topic i know some people get offended and they say they go they say go straight to the point like we i'm not in a hurry you know like sometimes you jump in here and you just want to share your life how it's some people they like to hear that how my life is going uh because this channel is pretty much to share about my personal life my journey my my past my future <laughs> plans my good and my bad and my ugly and the good and the bad and the ugly of united states and and, the, and a lot of things you know and i try to keep it positive positive vibes all the time so when you watch this channel just know positive vibes you know if there's something you don't like you can uh you can try to push forward so that it can if i'm talking too much try to push forward a little bit so that you can go from where i'm starting to talk about that, that topic but me i get off the topic really easy and yeah it's good to relax it's good to take it easy not to take it too serious you know so anyway uh when i want to carry i had help yeah that was that that is the main point i had help for those people who are asking and uh also my, I had a good time with my friends up there. There was a reason I went there because my friend Hena had a, my friend had an occasion. This friend of mine, uh, you know, he, you know these people, this family is like my family. You know, they are really good to me. They they hosted me when I came to this country. So this is my American family, and I love them so much. Oh my God, God knows I love these uh, my California family so much. They are so dear. They are so so good, so good. They have come, and I've talked about this friend of mine in California many times here. She has been there for me in every single thing. You know, to Metok and Bali, we came from UK here in the US, and we are still tr together. And she has been there for me like she's god sent if i call her i don't have rent you pay for me i mean and you know at an lp i give her the money back later she's a very true friend genuine friend so when they uh, when they reminded me i'm boiling my beans huh we eat beans you see guys so uh when they told me they have an uh, they have an event i had to quickly go up there and attend this event because i really wanted to be part of them i don't want to i don't want to miss it, uh, any of their events because that, that's how people friends genuine friends roll yeah you want to be there for people when they are there for you you give back don't expect to be given all the time you give back too uh, it's not because it's a debt but it's because you feel it's it's a right thing to do you know be there for people who are there for you also usiwa angushe yeah okay so i went to kali and i remember i posted a vid um i posted a post here on a community post and i said uh i was with big ted and i said uh if anybody has a question about american um, uh, i mean getting the kenyan passport and id let me know in the comment section so i was uh i had a plan to do a video with big ted the consulate uh the, the what do you call him the ambassador so i wanted to do a video with him and i actually requested him and he said yes we can sit down and do a video together and answer some of these questions actually we wanted to come live but then the devil is a liar so we planned on coming live and uh something happened the next day the day we were supposed to do a video together actually there was a kenyan marathon it was raining it was it was busy uh he's he's always busy so anyway uh then the the day we were supposed to do a video my friend my friend's friend received a call that um that a couple who is their friend very close friend they have died on the freeway so my friend told me we um she was like betty this uh this person called me and imagine she told me this and this you know it was shocking it was shocking so uh, this friend who lost uh their friend they are my friend they, he, she's my friend too so let me say a friend lost their friend um i'm saying their friends because i don't know them personally but let me tell you guys it was sad so uh we watched quickly 
turn on the news and we watch it on the news the accident had happened uh maybe if you google you'll see the accident that happened uh in california chino was it chino valley or chino something uh on the freeway and it killed four people two of those are my friend's friends kenyans a husband and wife they were coming from uh somewhere at night um I believe they were coming from like a party or something at night going home and uh, they had somebody watching their kids so when they were driving home around 2 2 30 3 o'clock in the morning they um on the freeway um they got an, into an accident and this was caused by a wrong way driver wrong way drivers are many here let me tell you guys when you're driving just tell god to always watch over you and to you know to remove all these crazy uh things incidents and accidents on the, these roads oh my god so anyway this couple they were driving home they are going to the event and now driving to their home to their children guess what a wrong way driver comes crazy and costs causes this big huge accident and it killed them right there on the spot when i saw on the when i watched the news or when i you know like it was on a paper even when you google it you see it on the on the accident that happened um it was last saturday night so the one car was in flames i don't know whether that car was the one they were driving i don't know but one car actually caught fire and they that but that accident killed four people two husband and wife couple kenyans died on the spot so the next day um they received the you know the family uh, the the person who was watching the kids um received the news of course when news like that like that comes the police or the sheriff comes to your door and they they break the news to you imagine how heartbreaking i don't want to go into details uh, but I happened to go with my friend that Sunday to uh, this couple's house. So we went there and it was so sad, guys. It was so sad. I, I was just crying. I mean, my heart was bleeding. My heart was broken. My heart, even looking at those children, I was just in tears. It, it was so heartbreaking. And looking at how beautiful their home was and how beautiful their children, above all, the children, they had a beautiful home, cars parked on the driveway. Everything was set there. Like, who would have thought they would go and never come back? I mean, if they knew, they would not have gone to, to this event. But yeah, I it happened last weekend, so they are not buried. I don't want to put so much pressure, uh, too much into this topic because maybe somebody i don't want somebody maybe from the family watch and it affect them it makes it even worse but i just wanted to mention because these things happen it was in the news it's not a secret you know when something like this ha ha happen uh, all we can say it's let's pray for these children uh, three children a three year old a seven and a ten if i'm not wrong if i'm not wrong the three seven and ten uh, if I'm wrong, maybe Nahata Kidogo, I think the oldest is 10 or 11 there. Like my son's, my Darren's age. The youngest is Nyla's age. And then there's a middle one who is like seven. Beautiful, beautiful children. Beautiful. The couple was so beautiful. Oh my God, husband and wife. So me, my question, the whole time I was there, I was just asking myself, why both of them? You know, we are not supposed to ask God questions, but I always say, oh my God, when things like that happen, we question our faith, we question God. We are not supposed to question God, but we ask ourselves questions and we just wonder why, why two of them? Why, why both parents? Like it was so sad. Um, I just pray for the children. I just want to ask you if you're watching this, please pray for these children. Pray that God will put them in good hands. Um, because i know god is gonna do something great in their lives i know god has them has their future god there's no way god can take away their their parents and then leave the children uh, to suffer i pray that they get in good hands because sometimes we know people can um people 
can be there for your for those children and they will get a very good life of course they will not replace the, their parents um but they god can use someone to raise them well that's what i'm trying to say i know and i know that god is gonna do something great for their lives and those kids they will grow together and tight and loving each other and there for each other you know and I know when I shared this to my friend, the, this friend told me um, that is exactly how they were left when they were little. And uh, that friend told me, we grew up, it was a struggle, our life changed, but we grew up, we, we got the education, we have our jobs, and we are always tight and close, you know, the siblings. So may God uh, bless those kids. Please, if you're praying, remember this family. Remember, they are not, they, they, these parents are not buried. It happened a few days ago. Uh, remember the kids in your prayers remember the extended family remember everybody and also remember all of us you know every time we go out and come back we give god the glory you know for me i was thinking about it and i say oh my god you know me, god is the one who watches our children and that's why i mentioned earlier we are not the one who watches our kids because as a parent you will say no 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 i cannot go i'm not gonna die now let me go back because i have to watch the kids but when it's time to go it's time to go you can't even you leave you you don't even plan nothing you know um about your children about your life about you leave all the things of the world in this world and just and and and, and you just go to your to your maker it's very sad let's pray for our lives may god please god remove and just take away all these um what do they call premature deaths you know we don't want to die young we pray god to live long healthy and happy lives to raise our children to watch them when they grow to see their grandkids uh, to see our grandkids and all this we, we all, this is a prayer to everybody we want to live long and enjoy our lives we, we pray and you know may god always watch over us when you go out and come back always say thank you god because you know can you imagine it's not us I, I was when i heard about the news you know i always tell you guys i'm an i'm a i'm a Uber driver i was so scared i didn't even want to get on the road and i said my god i don't want to get on any accident and every time i'm driving on freeways i see a lot of crazy deadly accidents and one thing i thought about this seriously and i said god there are so many drivers out there millions of drivers who have been driving for years and nothing has ha happened to them. I pray God that nothing will happen to me on those roads. This couple, they were not Uber drivers. It's just that they were going to an event and they came back. You know, coming back, they had the accident. I think it's when your time to go comes, it's time to go. So I got scared for a minute, but then I told God, I said, God, I pray that mm -mm, nothing wrong will happen on these roads. And, um, Anyway, let's pray for the children. Let's pray for the family. Let's pray for uh, let's pray for everybody. Let's pray for all of us. But most of all, let's keep those children in 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 uh, in prayers. Also, there's this couple I saw. Sorry, guys, this video is not about bad news. But I saw another couple that was killed in Kenya from America. They le they left America, uh, went back home in their village property and they were killed oh my god guys you have to be very careful when you invest if your community in your village is not safe it's the safest just don't even invest there um because people are jealous people don't like your progress not people not everybody who is happy when you're progressing you see even the things like us social media people like you know as youtubers we like to share so much about our lives which is kind of crazy because like a lot of you don't know who is watching and we don't know who is jealous a lot of people are jealous out there and they want to be where you are when they see you living in that big mansion you are from america they want to take you away they don't even care about your house and your cars and your money they want to just kill you and remove you out of the life. and i felt so bad for this family i haven't read the story into details but i felt so bad it's these things are happening and may god may god rest their souls in peace anyway guys um when i talked to this ambassador uh the the kenyan the consulate he told me uh you can now apply your id and your passport in california 
the embassy in california and it will come back very fast so you don't have to worry about going to dc if uh, dc is close to you it's okay if california is close to you it's okay i saw some questions about passports passports and make people making phone calls and nobody's answering what i can tell you and advise you on that i remember when i went to Calif uh, to dc to get my um to get my passport i remember this person said uh, somebody actually raised a question to one of the employees there and said, how come I've been calling this office? Nobody picks up. And this guy said that your best bet will be emailing. So if you email the embassy, um, it's easier, it's faster to get a response than calling. That is what they say. So if you are trying to reach the embassy through a phone call, you might, as, you might um, try to send them an email emails will get you'll get res, a response very fast you know somebody will respond to your email faster than a phone call sometimes they don't pick up he told actually the guy at the embassy told us this is what he told us that if you are trying to reach the kenyan embassy in dc just email you will get a response quickly and communication will go in. so if you go to their website check there the email to the kenyan embassy whether in dc or california you'll be fine i saw people i i there there were two people there that told me the same thing they said we applied our passports and our id in california and we received them very quickly myself when i applied my passport and my uh, my id in dc i received them very quickly they came fast so it's not actually hard go to the whether it's dc uh, washington dc or whether it's um california just go to the kenyan embassy if you're applying for passport e-passport and then it will sh there's uh, an option of applying for kenyan id put the information needed it's not hard that page is not complicated just follow the prompts and you'd be you'll be able to apply so what happened for me when i was applying I filled all the information and I made the payments and I, um, you know, pay, I paid the money I was supposed to pay. And they will even ask you to bring a check. I can't remember. It was a check for how much? I think for the ID it was like for $50. I can't remember. But it will prompt you. It will give you those prompts. It will tell you what to do. If you go to the embassy website, uh, e-passport apply, apply applying for e-passport applying for kenyan id so this is for the people in diaspora because i know some people are struggling even the uh this uh, uh, big ted assured me for the kids who are born here you can be able to apply for their passports too so give it a try don't give up it's not very complicated um uh, let me tell you I wish I was I, I wish I was able to come with him live so that he can answer those questions but as I said uh, on Sunday we ended up going to this fam to moon with this family we were not able to sit down with him it's okay because you know you go to the to the most important things first so I believe I'll see him again he, he said he's coming to Calif to Arizona very soon so that is all you need to do anyway it's not hard it's not complicated for the lady who had told who had mentioned about uh about traveling with the kids um who did not have their visas and they were not allowed to get in the country or something like that i believe that's a um you know that um okay if you have your kids like now my naila she's born here Obviously, I'll need a visa for her to get in Kenya, to go to Kenya, not unless I get her the Kenyan passport. So what I can say to that lady is apply for their Kenyan passports and um, and always make sure you apply for that visa. It's not hard. Or you, when you get to the air, airport, you get it or, you know, just do what you're supposed to do because sometimes you can wait for the government to waive something or do, you know, just do your part. That's what I can say to make life easier for 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 you and your children and to make it not to you know for it not to happen again because you don't want to miss your flights or you don't want to end up not allowed in a country because of one reason or the other that is what i can say so anyway guys i'm gonna get my daughter ready i hope i'm clear on that you can now apply your passport and your id your kenyan id in 
the, uh, the embassy in California. It's easier. You just fly to California. You just fly to DC. By the way, the, for me, I cannot say I had a bad experience. Those guys at the embassy, they do a good job. Probably maybe to pick uh, phone calls, they are not very good at that. But as I told you, uh, uh, just email them. Anyway, I'm just going to eat my plantain. I love eating plantain in the morning. And if you don't believe me, this is plantain. And I have like a leftover andoma. Me, I like this uh, old old-fashioned traditional kind of breakfast and i love my cup of tea it's right here and um i'm kind of tired because last night i slept late um nilala late because i i had some trainings to do on the computer and um i slept like almost one o'clock in the morning so anyway let me finish up get my daughter ready go to daycare and maybe <laughs> go to work or do some more training <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do with my day today my goodness i'm just i'm kind of sleepy i just need a break <laughs> take care guys um i know what to do i'm gonna go get a good Starbucks coffee Starbucks coffee will wake me up take care i love you guys see you on the next video bye oh make sure you subscribe and like the videos